हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल होप आप लोग सब अच्छे हो टुडे टॉपिक इज सीसी 3.1 लेटेस्ट क्वेश्चन टेक्नोलॉजी पेपर दिस वन द पार्ट 13 सो पार्ट 13 ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड प्रीवियसली बट देयर वाज सम प्रॉब्लम दैट्स व्हाई आई एम अगेन अपलोडिंग दिस क्वेश्चन आंसर दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सो यू शुड कंसंट्रेट ऑल द क्वेश्चंस आंसर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज द फॉलोइंग एमएमए इलेक्ट्रो टाइप्स आर जनरली only suitable for welding in the PB and PA position means which MMA electro types are suitable for PA and PA, PA and PB position so option is basic B is cellulosic C is rutile and D is high iron powder definitely it will be answered is high iron powder is only suitable for PA and PB position so answer is D Question 2. Which polarity is normally used for T welding of stainless steel? AC, DC electrode negative, DC electrode positive. So, which one is the correct answer? Which polarity we are using for T welding for stainless steel? Polarity refers to the direction of current flow. You see here, what is mentioned? Polarity refers to the direction of current flow when welding. All DC T welding steel stainless steel is done on DC negative polarity where the T torch is connected to the negative terminal and the earth lead to the positive terminal. So you understand earth lead is positive to ter terminal and the T torch is connected to the negative terminal. So DC electrode ne negative is the correct answer. Answer B. Question number 3. Which of the following welding processes would you expect to give the highest heat input when using typical parameter? Shielded metal arc welding, manual metal arc welding, submerged arc welding, and tungsten inert gas welding. So, which one is the which process is give the highest heat input? Definitely, submerged arc welding is give the highest heat input. So, answer is C. Question four: The number one 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 is shown at the tail end of a weld symbol reference line according to BSEN two two five five three. What does the number indicate? Simply the welding process, the type of electrode, the welding position, or the WPS number. Which one is the correct one? You see here, 111 is for mention what the manual metal arc welding. So you see, you can see here in weld symbol, this is the arrow line, okay? This is the weld symbol, okay? This is your the full reference line, and this is the tail end. If tail end is mentioned 111. Okay, then the process is manual metal arc welding. So, process means the welding process. One 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 is shown in the tail end. Mean it is the welding process. So, answer A. Option A. Question five. In MIG mag welding, wire feed speed proportional to travel speed, polarity, arc length, or welding current. So, MIG mag welding, wire feed is proportional to the welding current so increasing the wire feed speed automatically increases the current in the wire means it is proportional to the wire feed proportional to the welding current question number six from examination of the fracture test a brittle failure can be identified by the presence of beach mark the first option second option is plastic deformation c is being rough and drawn and d is being flat and rough definitely Rough and drawn is for the ductile failure and flat and rough is for the brittle failure. So answer is D. You see here the fracture surface how it is looking like the brittle failure. This is the brittle failure. You see here the brittle and this is the ductile failure. So ductile failure and brittle failure what is the difference you understand. Question number 7. Which welding parameter has the greatest influence on heat input? Which welding parameter? Travel speed, current, polarity and voltage. Definitely the correct answer is the travel speed. If you change your travel speed, if you slow down your travel speed, definitely the heat input will be more in that area. Travel speed, if it is less, then what will happen? The case deposition is more and that are will be more heat input so deposition will be more in that case in one area then heat input will be more question number eight a pipeline is to be laid across country which of the following methods would normally to be based to detect root detects 
so you see some pipelines is there it is in going to cross across the cross country pipeline okay now there is a defect there is a root defects then how we have to check how we have to detect that root defects ad current testing you have to check or radiography or hydrostatic testing or liquid penetration penetrant testing so first thing you cannot do the liquid penetrant at that area it is maybe constant area okay in radio radiographic current testing it will not do hydrostatic testing will not do this one for this detects so the the main answer is the radiography so in the radiography you can check the root defect root defects you can check you cannot check in liquid penetrant penetrant testing you can check only by radiography answer b the question number 9 the main reason for preheating steel is to what is the main reason of preheating because of breakage of hydrogen cracking reduce or reduce the residual stresses in the joint or reduce the distortion or drive the moisture out of the plate definitely we go for hydrogen cracking the main reason for preheating if you will not do the preheating we can we can see there is a problem in hydrogen cracking so to slow down the cooling rate of the weld so slow down the cooling rate then potentially resulting in softer weld metal and heat affected the microstructure with the greater resistance to fabrication fabrication hydrogen cracking so that is a greater resistance you will get in fabrication of fabrication hydrogen cracking okay so preheating if you do then it can prevent so question number 9 in the answer is a Question number ten: A short transfer tensile test as STRA will give what? What they will give the tensile strength of the weld, indication of susceptibility of lamellar tearing, the stress strain characteristic of the weld, the stress strain susceptibility to hydrogen cracking. So, which one is the correct one? Which one is the correct one? The stress strain susceptibility or stress strain characteristic? Which one? The indication of Susceptibility or tensile strength. So, question number ten, the answer is lamellar tearing occurs in joints producing high throw thickness strain. That is T joint or corner joint. In T or cruciform joint, full penetration bar oil will be particularly susceptible. So, definitely answer B, indication of susceptibility of lamellar tearing to lamellar tearing. Question number eleven. Weld mains in carbon manganese steel made using a higher than the specified heat input. So if you see there is a welding going on in carbon manganese steel, but the heat input is more than the requirement. So what will have? What will be the correct answer? Higher integrity, lower distortion will be there. Lower toughness will be there. Higher hardness will be there. So if you see here, high heat input, what will happen? Slow cooling, lower toughness. So the correct answer is lower toughness. If you understand here, high heat input, slow cooling, low heat input, fast cooling. So you understand lower toughness for high heat input reduction in the yield strength. The low heat input, what will happen? The increase hardness, hydrogen entrapment, lack of fusion. So you have, you can see here the clear details explanation. So answer is C, the lower toughness. So you understand this eleven question is very important. Hope you enjoyed this video. The see you soon, the next video. Take care. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Those people still not subscribe my channel, please subscribe to get the regular update. You will not miss any videos future. Thanks a lot.